In this video we're going to look at probability. The probability of an event occurring is given as the number of successful outcomes over the number of outcomes. Let's have a look at an example. Here we've got some cubes. I'm going to choose one of them at random. If I was asked for the probability of a white, this is shorthand for probability of a white, it would be equal to the number of successful outcomes, well two of them are white, so two, over the total number of outcomes, well altogether there's five cubes, so it's going to be two out of five, or two fifths is a fraction. White, well successful outcomes, so there's one white, out of, altogether, five cubes, so one out of five. And the probability of green, well, there's no greens, so it would be equal to 0 out of 5. Alternatively, you could just write that's equal to 0, because it's impossible. This time we've got four cubes, and I'm going to choose one of them at random. If I was asked for the probability of white, it would be 2 out of 4, so 2 quarters. Always make sure you give it as a fraction. If you were to write 2 out of 4, they, you wouldn't get the mark for that on the exam. You've got to write it as a fraction. Um, you could cancel this down, so you could cancel it down to 1 half. Alternatively, you don't just have to give it as fractions, you can also express it as a decimal or as a percentage. So you could write, or it could be equal to 0 0.5, because a half is 0 0.5. Alternatively, it could be given as 50%. I tend to give them as fractions or decimals myself. I tend not to write them as percentages, but remember, fractions, decimals, and percentages are equivalent to each other. Um, probably if an orange would be 1 out of 4. But that could also be a quarter is 0 0.25 or it could also be 25%. So whenever you're asked to express a probability, it's normal to give it as a fraction, decimal, or percentages, or as a percentage, but never ever write it as words. For instance, never write one out of four. That's wrong. So here's a typical question. It says a fair six-sided dice has colored faces. Three faces are red, two faces are blue, and one face is green. Katie rolls the dice once. Write down the color she is least likely to get. So the colour she's least likely to get is green, because there's only one face that is green. So green's the least likely colour. Then it says write down the probability she gets blue. So altogether there's six faces, so the denominator is going to be six, and two of them are blue, so there's two successful options. So it's going to be two out of six, or two sixths. And then make sure, uh, well, cancel it down, so cancel it down to one third. So the probability of getting a blue is one third. Emma has seven chocolates in a box. Four of the chocolates are white chocolate. The other chocolates are dark chocolate. Emma takes a chocolate at random from the box. What is the probability Emma takes a white chocolate? So we'll take over the seven chocolates in the box. So that means it's going to be out of seven, or seven is the denominator. And four of them are white chocolates. So that means that the probability of getting a white chocolate will be four sevenths. Is this what's the probability she gets a dark chocolate? Well, the rest of them were dark chocolate. Well, if there's four white, that means there must be, and the seven altogether, that must mean there's three dark chocolates out of the seven chocolates altogether. So the probability she gets a dark chocolate will be three sevenths. So here we've got a question where we've got this table that shows how boys and girls get to school. So they either walk, get the car, or other. And altogether there's a hundred of them. And the question says, one child is picked at random, uh, one of the children is picked at random. Write down the probability that this child walked to school that day. So altogether there's 100 children, so that means that the denominator will be 100. And the number of students that walked that day would have been 37, because there's 37 altogether. So the probability that the, ch uh, the child picked random um, would have walked would have been 37 hundredths. The next question then says, one of the girls is picked at random. So we're just looking at the girls here, so the 46 girls. It says, write down the probability the girl did not walk to school that day. So, there's 46 altogether, girls, so that means the denominator is going to be 46. And it says, right down the probability they did not walk. So, the girls that did not walk, well, 8 got the car, and 16 went by other means. So, if you add those together, that's 24. So, that means that 24 did not walk of the girls, out of the 46. So, the probability would be 24, 46. And you can cancel that down, that would be 12 over 23.